Shout hallelujah. Someone that is happy to be in the presence of God this morning, this covenant day of favor, why don't you rise up to your feet and begin to appreciate the King of Kings, begin to glorify him, begin to worship him. You are coming to the presence of God this morning. The Lord shall shower us with favor. Are you happy to be in this service this morning? Lift up your voice and begin to talk to God this morning. Beginning from this opening prayer to the end of benediction, the Lord shall favor us. The Lord shall shower us with favor in the name of Jesus. He said, I will enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Let every soul that is present this morning begin to receive that spirit of joy, the spirit of holiness, to be able to receive this favor today. Begin to ask for the spirit of holiness, the spirit of holiness to embind unto you this morning so as to receive this 
the gift of favor this morning from our Father in the name of Jesus. Lord, in this service of spirit of favor, Lord, shower us this morning. Let your name be glorified this morning. Let your name be magnified this morning. Your people has come into your presence again. Lord, for those who are still on their way, hasting their step into this sanctuary this morning, even as they step their feet into this sanctuary, they shall begin to receive that spirit of favor, the gift of favor. Lord, in this service, send your word like never before. You sent a word unto Jacob, and that same word has lighted all Israel. Let your word light up every family this morning with the gift of favor, with the spirit of favor. Are you sure you are asking God to send that spirit of favor unto you this morning, this service, in the name of Jesus? Lord, we ask that the spirit of favor shall saturate this tabernacle this morning. In the name of Jesus, let your wonderful presence do unto us that gift of favor that we reign all throughout our life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, send your word like never before. Are you sure you are asking God to send his word unto you this morning? Send your word unto this church. Send your word unto this family. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We honor you. Are you sure you are thanking him to be able to be here this morning? Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you send your word unto us. Send your word unto family. Send your word unto attendee. Send your word unto those who are watching online. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice to heaven this morning and appreciate your Father in heaven because the word is here already. He's sending the word. His presence is here already. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Raise up your hands to heaven. Appreciate him. Wave unto your Father this morning. It's another covenant day of favor. Another day of thanksgiving, end of the month thanksgiving. Lift up your voice, raise your spirit this morning. Let your spirit be in conjunction with God this morning. Walk with your father this morning. It's a day of joy. It's a day of joy. Are you sure you are receiving that joy? Are you sure you are sending that joy in your own environment this morning? Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give you all the praise. Take all the glory in Jesus' precious name. We give you thanks. Let's put hands together for Jesus as you receive the praise team. Hallelujah. Let somebody rejoice this morning. Keep clapping those hands for Jesus. It's our covenant of favor. Thank you, Jesus. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the love upon the throne And all to you We lift our voice in praise You are the love upon the throne Sing glory
together for Jesus. And please be seated. You are welcome to this wonderful service in the name of Jesus. Today, remember, it's our covenant day of favor. You shall be going home with favor today in Jesus' name. On behalf of God's servant, let's call ourselves to worship in the book of Psalm 67 from verse 1 to 7. We are going to be reading responsively. As I read one, you read two until we get to the last verse. Hallelujah. And I read Psalm 67 verse 1. God be merciful unto me and bless us and cause your face to shine upon us. Verse 2. Let's read with life. Verse 3. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all thy people praise thee. Verse 4 together. Let the nation be glad and sing for joy. For thou hast judged the people righteously and governed the nation upon the earth. Verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. And let all the people praise thee. Verse 6 together. Then shall the earth. Let's read alive by seven together. God shall bless us and all the nation will fear him. And in verse 5 said, let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. He said, then shall the earth yield our increase. And God, even our own God shall bless us. He said, God shall bless us and the ends of the earth will fear him. You are going home with a fearful favor today in the name of Jesus. Put your wonderful hands together for Jesus. You are welcome. Turnaround Encounters Announcement, Sunday, September 26, 2021. Welcome, welcome to this wonderful day of favor service. We are so glad you're here today. Please carefully note the following. Prophetic focus. Godliness is profitable unto all things. 1 Timothy 4, 8. Covenant hour of prayer is every weekday at 6 a.m. and saturday at 9 a.m take advantage of this platform as an avenue for your spiritual enhancement and be blessed midweek communion service the midweek communion service comes up on wednesday september 29 2021 streamed live on our website www.winnerschapeltoronto.org and all our social media platforms as our custom is, we shall be waiting on the Lord in prayer and fasting and break the fast with our Holy Communion. Time is 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Winner Satellite Fellowship Considering government guidelines regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, our WSF meetings continues to hold at our various fellowships online platforms. The next meeting takes place on Saturday at 5 p.m. In-person service for Children's Church. Please know that the Children's Church will resume in-person service on Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. Please note the following. Online streaming is still ongoing and you can connect using the Google Meet link for the respective classes. Drop-off pickup and registration is through the office entrance facing Mayor Side Drive. Registration is mandatory as safety guidelines and precautions will be observed during the service. Time is 9 a.m. for first service and 11.30 a.m. for second service. Next Sunday at WCI Toronto. Next Sunday, October 3rd, 2021 is our prophetic entrance service to the month of october 2021 
Come along expecting to be visited in this service as you connect with your family members, friends and other loved ones on ground and to our live streaming on our website, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Service begin at 9 a.m. for first service and 11.30 a.m. for second service. Electronic giving. Be reminded that you can give your tithe offerings and other kingdoms advancement seats securely through the following channels. On the church website, www.wcito.ca give. Text to give via PushPay, which allows you to give from your cell phone by simply texting the word WCITO to 77977 and follow the instructions. Interact online transfer through the church email fmctoronto at winnerschapelcanada.org. Jesus is Lord. Our God may work in mysterious ways, but He has never failed. As you listen to the following documented testimony, you shall be greatly blessed. New job. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for His divine intervention. A few weeks ago, I listened to the testimony from Canaan Land, Ota where the brother said he had a temporary job and he would wake up at midnight to pray kingdom advancement prayers and then he got his dream job. I decided to do the same and I no longer prayed for my personal needs. I also had the resident pastor pray for me and God showed up. As I testify today, I have two job offers I praise the name of the Lord. The testifier is Sister Iria Burns from WCI Toronto. As you have listened to this testimony, God will surprise you with your own testimony this week. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Charles Daniels. I'm the owner and CEO of Churches by Daniels. At Churches by Daniels, we build churches across the United States. And we've been so honored to team up with Winters Chapel here in Maryland to build the church for them here. We built churches for them in, in Houston. I'm doing one there. So we really love the relationship. We want to continue on with this great relationship. Um, some of the churches you would be familiar with that we've done is we built Billy Joe Darty's church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, we built Kenneth Hagin's church, uh, 5,000 seat, quarter of a million square feet. This facility, some of the challenges was it. We bought an existing building. And in this existing building, we had a lot of columns. So it made the seating really hard. Well, we went on top of the building and we put beams across the roof of the building to carry all the weight so we could take the columns out of the building making it a really expansive auditorium like you see here today. Beautiful auditorium. Hello, I bring you greetings again right from our new home, Winners Chapel International, Maryland. And if you look around, you can tell I'm right in the main auditorium. This wonderful auditorium will be seating 2,000 people in each of the services on the 24th of October, 2021. But the question is, how did we get here? Luke chapter 14 and verse 28. He that wants to build a tower must sit down first and count the cost to see if he has what it takes to complete his building. I'd like you to know you are God's building. And God has great plans for your life, but his plans for your life will never find fulfillment without you sitting down to plan. We are here today celebrating the reality of October 24th, 2021, 
because we sat down to plan. God has been gracious to us. He has been kind to us. There is progress on every side around this project. I'd like you, therefore, to begin to plan, uh, not just for the 24th of October, 2021, but make planning part of your life. On October 24, 2021, we'll be having two powerful services here, one at 9 a.m. and the other at 11.30 a.m. I'd like you to prepare your entire household. Not only is the glory of God right here in the main auditorium, the glory of God is on these premises. It is everywhere around us. The children's facility will also be open with amazing classes. And um, I want you to prepare because your life is work in progress. But ensure that you're taking time to plan each stage of your life. We thank God for what he has done. We thank God for what he is doing. And we thank him much more for what lies ahead. October 24th remains a reality. God bless you. For this glorious progress. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let the following brethren quickly come forward to share their testimony with the people of God. Pastor Oshunde, Michael Avabore, Dickiness Modupe Kazim. Ehia Pudeshia Archer. The more you clap, the faster they come. Come, sir. Your name and in one minute what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. According to scripture, Psalm 119, verse 46, he said, I will speak of the testimony uh, before kings, and I will not be ashamed. I've come today, the last Sunday of the month, to return all the glory to God on behalf of myself and family, you know, for God's mercies and his truth's sake, that all that he has committed into my hands has gone forward and moved upwards in Jesus' name. In addition to that, God added another year to me this month. Him alone be praised in Jesus' name. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Please, your name and what the Lord has done for you in a minute. My name is Michael Avabore. I joined this commission in 2004, and God has been so faithful to me. Moving to Canada, I was trying to get my immigration process right, but there was a major challenge on the way. I came in here, I met a resident pastor in his office. He said, let's go to the altar. He brought me to this exalted altar. He prayed on my documents. And after which he spoke a word of prophecy that I will come back to this exalted author and testify. <laughs> While waiting, I believe Zephaniah 3.19 for supernatural turnaround and Joshua 1 verse 3 for my planting, for my settlement here in Canada. The, the notice of decision has come. The God of the liberation mandate that passed the Red Sea, whose, in whose presence mantis keep like little rams. Jordan was driven back. The wall of Jericho sank. Has done it. It is favorable. I've come to return all the glory to God and to thank our resident pastor. Praise the Lord. Jam your hand to stand up for Jesus for his welcome to Canada. Your name uh, and what the Lord has done. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is Dickness Modupe Kazim. I want to share this testimony on behalf of my husband and family. Our God is a good God. Bishop Oedipo said, God is not a taskmaster and he's not a user of men. You just keep serving, and you'll keep blessing. To, just this week, we celebrated our 15th marriage anniversary, and the same day doubled as my birthday. My husband's birthday was yesterday. One of our sons is today. We had four birthday celebrations this month. And last, last year, in the midst of the pandemic, for us, our business was booming. God gave us this idea in real estate since we came to this land. I tell you, this land is good. We are a testimony of that fact. And this year, the first half of this year, God surprised us. He gave us an expansion in our real estate portfolio. In this other half, he's also preparing some other projects. We have come to return all the glory to him. And lastly, we got this awards in business to the glory of God. 
In fact, this award made it to the news. Papa said, you don't have to make noise, but you will make news. We have come to return all the glory to this God, and we'll keep serving him, and he will keep blessing us. Thank you, Jesus. Jam your hands together for Jesus, for this bundle of joy. Please come forward. Keep clapping your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Your name, please, and what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. We are Mr. and Mrs. Archer, and we have come to return all the glory to God for his favor, for his mercy, for his love. 26th of September last year, we got wedded, and today is 26th, making us one year <laughs> to go with the glory. So it's been from one level of favor to another. And I want to return all the glory to God. Another one is, I want to thank God for divine healing. You know, sometime, uh, some weeks ago, my wife was ill, and I was scared to a point that I was, you know, she couldn't walk, you know, so I was just like, I was scared. So I had to call the resident pastor. Please, if you don't have the pastor's number, just make sure you have it, because sometimes you may need it. So I just called him. And our daddy is a loving daddy that when you call, he responds. So when I called him, he asked me to anoint her. I anointed, I did all of that. And we called our HOD, uh, Dr. Naomi, and she told us, made some recommendations. And today we are standing here to the glory of God. <laughs> then lastly, I want to thank God for divine guidance and divine protection. Two weeks ago, I went to work, and there was this big giant, I don't know if it is British Bulldog or, or German Shepherd. The dog is like, if the dog was waiting for me. I got to that building, and that dog came out from the house. I didn't know what to do, if to fly or to run, but all that came out for me was Jesus. And the dog got to me, turned, and went back. That was just it. I want to return all the glory to God for his favor, for his mercy. I want to thank God for all that he has done One for me, please. I want to thank God. God has favored us. I want to thank Daddy. The church loves you. We love you, Daddy. And I wish you could stay here longer for us. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jam your hand together for Jesus for all this bundle of testimony. Let's give glory, honor, and praise unto him. To him alone be glory, honor, and praise forever. For in Jesus' mighty name. Praise Master Jesus. Make that clapping louder for Jesus. You have had a testimony. You will be the next in line to testify in Jesus' name. We shall be taking our intercession number one this morning. And we are going to be praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delaying the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Our bearing is taken from 2 Thessalonians 2.8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. With this understanding, let's be upstanding and begin to pray on ground online that, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delaying the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delaying the noiseless breakthrough of every worshiper in the house be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have come this morning. You tag today the covenant day of favor. Lord, every delay on every side hampering our noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies. Father, they shall be destroyed on this mountain this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer, mean it from your heart. You have come to your Father this morning. Every delay, every force, every form of delay that may have been delaying the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies, they shall be destroyed upon this mountain this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we have come, not unto us, not unto us, but unto you, O Most High. Lord, this morning, let every force delaying the release of the noiseless breakthrough order 
of our testimonies. Lord, let them be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Talk to your Father and mean it from your heart that Jesus, let every force delaying the release of a noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies, Lord, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakasu Zaze, Zaze, Mad Molosh, 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 Holy Ghost, it's only you that can do it. Let every force delaying the release of a noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies be destroyed on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hand unto this great God, thank and appreciate him, whatever we said to his ear, that he will do for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Because we know it's done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we please be seated? Supernatural turn around. This moment is time for our children's dedication and task giving time. As our custom is, Every, the last Sunday of every month will return like that one leper to give God quality thanks for what he has been doing for us as individual and as a shop since the month began. The Bible is speaking in the book of Psalm 92 verse 1. He said, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the name almost high. Verse 2 says, to show forth the loving kindness. That is what we are here to do this morning. Because the Bible says it is a good thing. This hour, if this month is your marriage anniversary month, you are dedicating a newborn baby, a new house, a new car, a new job. Whatever God has done in your life this month, and it's also your month, your birthday month. Please, we'd like you to come forward at the altar. And the, for those that are dedicating a new baby, please write in the front. And as we invite the choir to lead us in high praise. Please let us be upstanding.
We have a wonderful baby in our midst this morning to dedicate unto the God. Hallelujah. God never leave us without a witness. Meanwhile, as this anointing comes upon you, you are spreaded from every evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Sickness and disease will never locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never find your back at the hospital bed in the name of Jesus. The glory of God will continue to envelop you in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of God rest upon you. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. For your arrival, whatever your parents cannot be able to do, you will begin to do with ease in the name of Jesus. You are separated from every evil oppression in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blessings of God rest upon you. May the power of God rest upon you in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. For anyone here believing God for their own children, we use this one as a point of contact for the release of miracle children. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. For everyone here believing God here for immigration success. We use anyone here thanking God for the immigration success as a point of contact for the release of more immigration success in the name of Jesus. For anyone here believing God for a miracle marriage. We use this one here thanking God for the marriage anniversary as a point of contact for the release of miracle marriages in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory, Lord. Take all the glory. Thank you, mighty Jehovah, for those celebrating the birthday. You will celebrate many more years. You will enjoy many more years. In Jesus' precious name. You are going out is blessed. You are coming in is blessed. In Jesus' precious name. For our, those who have the thanksgiving seed, we wave it to God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to give this quality thanks unto you. Take all that glory. Take all the honor. Father, we worship you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. The seed we have has to be blessed. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And please let us dance back at our seat as we invite the choir to lead us. Amen. Go. It is offering time. This time around, we'll be worshiping the Lord with whatsoever that we have proposed in our heart. Your tithe, your offering, your kingdom advancement seed, whatever you have proposed to give unto the Lord, shall we package it together, label it properly. And if you want to give online, I believe the media will project all the channels we have to help you give successfully online. Wherever you are, it's projected online, and you can use those platforms to give your seed. If you have already packaged your seed, we rise on our feet as we go before the Lord and present those seeds to the Lord. The Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9, honor the Lord with your substance. Your substance is anything valuable to you. And giving it as a honor to the Lord, return honor back to you in multiple fold. If you have done so, lift up your hands and give him praise. What a privilege that you are not empty this morning before him. Lord, out of the abundance you have given us all going, we have returned to give back to you, to honor you. Lord, therefore, let honor respond back to us in multiple fold in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we declare all these seeds sanctified in the name of Jesus. And let it ascend unto you as a sweet-smelling servant. And all glory we vow to give back to you as you return to us in multiple fold. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Sit down comfortably as we receive the choir and give your seed with joy. Amen. Oh. 
of what the mercy of God can do. If you knew me then, you believe me now. It's on my whole life upside down. Took the old and it made it new. That's just what the mercy of God can do. That's why we declare, now I'm alive to tell the story. How I overcome this is goodness and mercy and the power of his blood. Based on what I've done, was His goodness and mercy and the power of the Lord. Hey, oh, 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 it's the power of God in my life that shown us mercy. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey. Choices I made that I now regret. Oh, I would still be lost. How many of us are here because of God's mercy? Come on, lift your hands and say, Hey, but for the mercy of God, I'm alive. Now I'm alive to tell the story.
Jesus spoke for you and I and that is why we are here before him the last Sunday of the month of September shall we lift up our voices one more time and return all the glory to him and worship him and say thank you Lord thank you Lord and thank you worship him appreciate him it is by his mercies that we were not destroyed the Lord brought through us, brought us through the month of September. Today, the last Sunday, I appreciate him. Father, I thank you. For life, I thank you. For provision, for healing our infirmities, thank you. For answers to prayers, we say thank you. Lord, take all the glory. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We appreciate you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. You watched over us all through the month. We slept and we woke again because you sustained us. When we were weak, you strengthened us. Father, we say thank you. For all the testimonies of your awesome wonder, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. You are seeing the last Sunday of September. You see the last Sunday of 2021. In the name of Jesus Christ, all that the Lord has proposed for you, it shall come to pass. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of you. Now, before we sit down, we'll do something very important quickly. Now, tomorrow is our Father's birthday. God servant Bishop David Oedeku. And if you'll be honest, and we are honest people, we have been blessed thoroughly by the life of our Father, by the ministry of our Father. And so we'll be lifting up our voices. If we could, we'll give him shoes and money and all of those. But we can give him something much more precious. And we can pray for him. Paul said, brethren, pray for us. So we'll be lifting up our voices this morning to pray for our Father. And we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we give thanks for adding another year to your servant, Bishop David Oedepo, we decree the release of fresh oil upon his life for continuous, impactful ministry. Will you lift up your voices? According to the word, he said, Having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue unto this day. It is by the help of God. Lord, we pray for our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, your servant, the apostle over this commission, we decree, Lord, the release of fresh oil, fresh oil upon his life for continuous, impactful ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Lord, we lift up our voices. We have been partakers of grace. Oh, your hand upon his life. Oh, Father, this morning, we pray for our Father, your servant, Bishop David Oedepo. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil for greater, more continuous, impactful ministry. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray you will strengthen him. Reveal yourself to him afresh. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh oil, fresh oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, this morning we pray you will do greater works in his life for him, by him, through him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, release fresh oil upon him, upon his life for continuous, impactful ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, as he celebrates another year, tomorrow, the 67th year, Lord, fresh oil, release fresh oil, release fresh oil. La kepratoso sekalazia, mala tepra, koto sento zolia. Lord, he will continue. Oh, greater strength, strength from above, strengthen him, spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for what you have done with him and for him, through him, in this great ministry, this great commission you have given to him. Father, this morning as one, we decree in the name of Jesus, the release, the release of fresh oil upon his life for continuous impactful ministry father we pray for our father we pray for our mother we pray for the family everywhere they represented the children the grandchildren in the name of jesus let the fire of the holy spirit surround them in the pata kepra in the mighty name of jesus christ lord this morning we give thanks for adding another year to his life in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, this morning, we decree the release of fresh oil, fresh oil upon his life for continuous and powerful ministry. Our Father, we finish well. Not one word will fall to the ground, just as you were with Samuel, just as we were with David. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray this morning for our Father, the Apostle over this commission, Bishop David Oyedeko, your servant, we decree the release of fresh oil upon his life for continuous impactful ministry. Now begin to thank him. Give him glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank you for the life of our Father. Take all the glory for hearing him, confirming every word that he speaks. Take all the glory. We thank you, Father, for the fresh oil for impactful ministry. Take all of the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And as we have prayed for our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you and I will continue to be impacted by the hand of God upon his life. Every virtue that works in his life, in the name of Jesus Christ, will work in yours. No one will doubt that you are a son and a daughter of Christ, that you belong to this great commission, in Jesus' precious name, you are blessed. Somebody is blessed. Give the Lord a clap of you. And please have your seat. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Well, you're welcome to this service for everyone in the sanctuary. And of course, everyone online across the nations of the earth. Everywhere you are in this service streaming from we're glad you're here jesus christ brought you to bless you and you are blessed in jesus precious name amen it's great to be back home last week i was out of station and had the privilege of uh, worshiping at the headquarter church in maryland hallelujah and so i bring all of us greetings from god's servant our national pastor he looks forward to seeing all of you life amen and from our announcement you saw that uh, god is doing great mighty works uh, october 24 will be the dedication of our brand new ultra modern sanctuary amen october 24 and for all of us 
right here in Canada and across the nations of the earth, if you can, begin to make plans to attend, to be there. Uh, it will be a great time in the presence of God. And God that is doing it, he did it in Canaan land and across the nations of the earth. He's doing it in Maryland. He will do it in Canada. Amen. God is moving us higher in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So I'm glad to be back home. Um, but understand that I came to go. <laughs> Amen. So someday, someday, I don't know when, but someday, <laughs> praise God, you are blessed in Jesus' precious name. Understanding pathways to godliness. Understanding pathways to godliness. That has been our teaching series. And this morning, the concluding part of this series, understanding pathways to godliness. There's, there are always pathways to all the virtues, all the blessings, the promises of God. There is what we must do. There is a way to get to that place of our glorious destiny. Understanding pathways to godliness. And when we understand, then that is called revel, I mean, lera praroa setasia. That is revelation. When you understand, when the secret of God is revealed to you, when you have a revelation of God, of the things of God, and when that happens, it turns you around. It moves you. It doesn't leave you the same way it met you. It is revolutionary. Revelation is revolutionary. My people perish because they don't understand. They don't know. They don't have revelation. They are my people. Oh, they are held bound in cages, including their strong men, their noble ones, for lack of understanding, for no knowledge, for no revelation. In that second uh, Chronicles 15, we saw the story of Judah, Asa the king, including everybody. There was no peace for him that goes out or coming because they don't understand the things of God. There was no God with them. There was no law. There was, everybody was doing what they think was right. And so they had all manner of trouble. But when they in their trouble, turn to God, to understand, his, to understand his way and to do it, then, verse 15, they had peace all around. Understanding pathways to godliness, there is a pathway. There are several pathways. And that's what we've been looking at throughout the month of September. In the name of Jesus Christ, this service and every service you have been in this month will not leave you the same. Amen. It will move you forward. In Jesus' precious name. So we have been looking at godliness. And we understand that God will not ask us to be. God will not ask us to do what he has not empowered us to be. Or to do. He has given us power to be holy. He said, be ye holy as I am holy. And so we have capacity. It is wrong to say, well, I'm just a man. We're just human beings. It's impossible to please him. It is possible to please him. It is possible to be holy. And in the name of Jesus Christ, that grace again is released to you and I this morning in Jesus' precious name. So we looked at the cost of ungodliness. It's very costly. Sin, unrighteousness, ungodliness is costly. There's a cost of ungodliness. And so as we continue in concluding this series, and please again, if you have missed any of the services, um, not just Toronto, but particularly from base, Canaan land, you can go on the YouTube channel and hear our father uh, go through all of this series, or you can choose again. Uh, so there's no excuse to say, I don't understand it. Amen. Part one, part two, part three, from the beginning of the month, even today, today you have all this available. So, just a few we're looking at today. Cost of ungodliness. Sin blocks our access 
to breakthroughs, supernatural breakthroughs. Sin leaves us and keeps us going round in circles. Up today, down tomorrow, I'm not sure about next time. It blocks access to supernatural breakthrough. Proverbs 1.23, it says, Turn at my reproof. If you turn, then I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I'll make known my words to you. Our father said, until you turn, it's not your turn. You have to turn. Turn at my reproof. So if there's anything you are doing right now, you know that it's not right. Turn. Leave it. Turn at my reproof. And then you have access to the Spirit of God, to the things of God, to the secrets of God. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 and 3, Arise, shine, for your light is come. Rising means breaking through, breaking forth on everything, in everything. Not just breaking through. Some people are very uh, successful in business, but they are not in family. What we're talking about, supernatural breakthrough, is all around, everywhere. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In spite of the darkness that is upon the earth, gross darkness upon the people. So when we turn from our unrighteousness, I'm mean, seeing, then the glory of God. He poured out his spirit upon us, as he said in Proverbs 1.23. And as a result, he said, the Gentiles, verse 3, will now come to your rising. You matter to your generation. It's not about they like you, they don't like you. When the glory of God is upon you, they come without calling for them. He said, they come to your light. Not because of where you are or what you do or where you're from. No, the light is attractive. The anointing is attractive. So when the hand of God is upon a man, a woman, a sister, there's no need for uh, pushing or pulling or advertisement. No, they go seeking that light. Why? Because there's darkness in the land, there's cross darkness upon the people. There's too much confusion many questions. So many people have questions. So the one that has the answer is the one they seek after. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be sought after. So when there is sin, it blocks that access to the breakthrough we're talking about. Your access will not be blocked in Jesus' precious name. Number two, cost of ungodliness, it destroys destiny. Destroys destiny. All of us, every child of God has a glorious destiny. The heritage of the children of God is wonderful. No struggle, no sickness, no delay, nothing. But when sin is present, it destroys it. It does not manifest. Proverbs 16, 18. There's a huge, huge ungodliness, pride. He said, pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. Pride. And it manifests in different ways. Of course, the, the simplest, the easiest one that can be seen is, you, you know, some people are very proud and you can see it. But you can be very quiet and be, still be prideful. <laughs> so it's not in the physical, you know, carriage. It's not in the, in quote, there's a false meekness. It looks like meekness, but it's really not. Pride is overestimation of self. One of our, our senior pastors, our father said, what is pride? You know, when you are full of yourself and there's no room for God. There's no more room for anybody else but because you are too full of yourself. You look at yourself and say, it's not me, look at me. Nobody's like me. Pride. And we saw those, the cost in scriptures. Daniel chapter 4, this great king. He looked at himself, Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, look at all these things I built. I, I, I. That is the language of pride. And then immediately, judgment came upon him. He became a beast until he reset his brain, until he understood that he was nobody but by grace of God. Verse 33 of that Daniel 4. He said, the same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar. And he was driven from men. 
and he ate grass, you will not be driven from men. In Jesus' precious name. Acts chapter 12, the story of King Herod, verse 21 to 24, Acts 12. The same thing manifested. You see, this thing is a spirit. We're referencing Nebuchadnezzar, you know, hundreds of years ago, Herod, long time ago. That spirit is still at work in the earth. He put on his clothes and he sat down and people were hailing him. They made oration about him. I see, he was not the one saying it all. Right? Where we're from, you have people that sing your praises. He received it. He basked in it. That's why judgment came upon him. So be careful when people clap for you. When they say, oh, there's, there's, no, there's, there's no resident pastor like you. <laughs> so you are the best since sliced bread. But he received it because he began to operate. There's nothing wrong in appreciation, right? But it's in not letting it get to your head to think, if I'm not here, nothing works. If I'm not in that church, if I'm not in that service, they're in trouble. No. When you leave is when everything will work right. But in my small journey, I have that experience. Not here, of course, but I've been several places, so I know they're watching me. You can't say where I'm talking about. You know, in the days of small beginnings, we practically have to beg some people, please come and play keyboard. I can play keyboard. You know, when you start a uh, fellowship, uh, you are a pastor, you are my wife and child are beating the drum. So everybody is quiet. <laughs> and then somebody comes in with a skill. He says, ah, answer to prayer. And then he is full of himself. And then he just does the, I say, leave him alone. You don't beg people here. And as soon as he, where he's sitting down, somebody better comes. And then he will sit down and look. Say, you have lost the opportunity. Our father said, God told him, there are 120, 200 people behind you that will do it better than you. So don't allow anything to get to your head. Thank God for skill, for gifts, for talent. We are all gifted differently. We all have different graces. So whatever grace you have, remember to give God the glory. He's the one that gave it to you, and he can take it. He will not take it from you. So, Pride, that's the sin. Pride in homes, that, the, the 100% trouble in any marriage, without me hearing what it is, is pride. The root is pride. Whether it's husband or wife, if someone, one of them will just let go. I don't go agree. <laughs> oh, he will think I'm a fool. They already think you are a fool, so why are you confirming it? <laughs> You will not be destroyed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. What is the cost of ungodliness? It blocks our access to eternity with Christ. Now, that is the ultimate. It blocks access to eternity. See, thank God for everything we have here. This is where it is. Houses, cars, clothes. Now, if you look in your closet, the clothes, are, I mean, there are some prayers you prayed five years ago. Do you still remember them? You don't. Everything here is temporary. It's temporal. Eternity is the ultimate. And that should be and must be our focus. Sin blocks us to getting there. We'll spend more time there. I mean, the, the maximum will be here is 120. <laughs> 120 is, is a smidgen. It's, it's nothing before God. So whatever we do, we must live in that consciousness. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. He said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That is final verdict. It will not. Anything unrighteous will not get there. He said, Be not deceived, neither what. Now he began to enumerate them. Now this is not an exhaustive list. This is a representation. Fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, effeminate, abusers of themselves with mankind. Know ye not. So don't be deceived. Don't let any doctrine tell you it's okay. It's not okay. 
thieves will not make it. Covetous. Be careful what you covet. Drunkards, revilers, extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. They cannot. There's no place for sin there. He said now, verse 11, such were some of you. All of us, that is, if you are honest, you can find yourself in that list. Even if he's not there, he's there. <laughs> the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Those three categories cover every sin imaginable, whatever title it is. So it must be, he said, such were, where? It must be past tense. We cannot continue to engage in sin and hope to make it. It's, the, the door is closed. No access to ungodliness, to eternity with Christ. So let that be the standard that we look at. Let that inform our decisions. How will this impact my eternity? Or if you shut me out, no, no matter how wonderful or you know, beautiful it may present, you will not be shut out. In Jesus' precious name. Now, see, hear what Paul is saying. Verse 12. He said, all things are lawful to me, but all things are not expedient. It is lawful. Okay, it's, it's a gray line in quote. But it's not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So if you are under the power of anything, it's a sin. It does not please God. We all should be under the power of the Holy Spirit, not anything, not anything, not business, not career, nothing. Sin blocks our access to eternity. And again, please hear it and hear it again. Thank God for now, but now, maximum 120. And none of us here is 120. A lot of us have less. For me, I'm what? Um, I think it's. What is this? 70, 60, what? 60 something. My math is 69. <laughs> right? I think it's 69. Oh. So you can subtract whatever age you are now from 120. Most of us, maybe, I think, because the zero one can't hear me. <laughs> zero year. The one that was conceived last night. So everybody has 120. That is incomparable to what is to come. Eternity, unending time. Numbers 14, 22 and 24. The story of two group of people. Numbers 14. Now, this is the story of a group of people. Some, very few. Just, I think, two made it over. He said, all these men have seen my glory. They saw my miracles. They saw everything I did in Egypt. He parted the Red Sea, the templates. They saw everything. They were jumping and singing with them. Hosanna in the highest. But in spite of that, he said what? They tempted me ten times. God was counting it. So what you are doing, what you did last night, he counted it. That you have not been caught. Be careful. Maybe that's your tenth time. There's nothing done in the dark that will not be revealed. You may have gotten away with it. You didn't get away with it. You think you got away with it because your wife didn't find out, your husband didn't find out, your church didn't find out. It will, it, God saw it. You see, he counted it. He said, these ten times you have tempted me. So the first time, mercy prevailed. Second time, third time, ten times. So I don't know what level, <laughs> what number you are, but check yourself. It may be the last one. It may be the last opportunity you have that I have. You say, these ten times you have ten ten, so enough. Judgment is coming. And what is the judgment he gave them? He says, surely they shall not see the land. <laughs> not any one of them. Any one of them that have provoked me, they will not see it. Even though I've sworn to their fathers, but this one, he said, except one, Caleb, who had another spirit in him. <laughs> He's not like them. He said, only him among that generation. And you know what he did? I think he's 20 and above. Everyone over 20 died in the wilderness. 
Because he said, they, they have tempted me. And how did Caleb do it? He said, he followed me fully. That's the key word. It's not that he just had another spirit. He was not a yo-yo, up and down. He was consistent. He followed me fully. And as a result of that, him I will bring into the land that he went. And his seed shall possess it. In the name of Jesus Christ, you and I will not miss heaven. Amen. On that last day, we will see each other and be rejoicing. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive grace to walk away from sin. Amen. I cast the root of every little fox, every big fox, whatever it is that is designed of the enemy to trip us up. In the name of Jesus Christ, an end has come to it. In Jesus' precious name. So it's not about uh, anointing, you know, that you wave your hand, people fall down, you raise the dead. You say, in that day, I will tell them, I don't know you. So, yeah, we, we love drama, right? We love anointing. You love to see people, you know, God. it's not every, every miracle that, that means that man or woman is, <laughs> is going there. Hmm? Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 and 23. This is very scary. So don't just celebrate, uh, okay, you are, you are the loudest prayer in church. Is your hand clean? <laughs> you are a resident pastor that people fall down under the anointing. Praise God. But are you clean? That is the standard. Because all we can see is the, we can see your heart. You know your heart and God sees it. He said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name we cast out devils. In your name, we have done so many wonderful works. And then, verse 23, this will not be our portion. He said, then I will tell them, I never knew. No, this is, I never, not that I knew you and didn't know you. I never knew you. <laughs> Depart from me, you that walk in iniquity. In the name of Jesus Christ, for you and I, it shall be welcome. Amen. Welcome. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Now, what is the way out? Because sin is deadly. Sin is a sinker. Sin, sin is deadly. It's, it kills. And you can go through scripture. You see examples. In our present day, you can go on uh, Google now, whatever. You have examples of great men and women. Great destinies that crashed as a result of sin. There's a way out. And you are coming out of it. Amen. And what is the first step in that? Is repentance recognizing there's no couching, there's no color in it. You know that. Father, I have sinned. And so, so people can be angry with David. He's a very wonderful model. He didn't hide. He said, Lord, <laughs> wash me clean. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil. <laughs> so he named it, he knew it. That's why he didn't die. Mm -hmm. But even though there's consequences to him, even. That's Psalm 51. So what is the way out? Number one is to repent. Repentance, repentance is not regret. Because with regret, you are liable to maybe go back. Repentance is to completely stop and turn around the other way and do something different and no longer do that which displeases God. Repentance, that is the only acceptable requirement for forgiveness. Until you repent, you can't be forgiven. Proverbs 28, verse 13. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. This is, these are heavy words that should, that should shake us. Because every time we pray, Lord, you know, prosperity and, you know, bless me and all that. He said, but if you cover it, if you cover your sin, he shall not prosper. But whoso confess and forsakes them shall have mercy. And even in our natural life, if a child has done something wrong, you will get more angry when he's trying to prove to you that he didn't do it. I just saw, this is the proof. Right? But if that child just comes contrite and say, Daddy, I'm sorry. Even if you're a witch, you say, okay. <laughs> right? So if you cover this sin, there's no, there's, no, there's no recourse to that. But the one that confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the mercy of God will speak for you and I. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, number one, repent. Repent. There's no two way. And very shortly, in case you are here in the sanctuary or online, um, if you are still dabbling 
in that scene. Now, now understand it's not between you and any man. So you don't have to worry about who is sitting around you. It's between you and Jesus. So you have that opportunity to confess to him and cry out for that mercy. And he's a gracious father. He will have mercy. And remember that sin no more. And then empower you to sin no more. In Jesus' precious name. Now, we're talking about godliness. Pathways to godliness. There's a demand to be godly. It doesn't, you know, it's not external. It doesn't just come on us. There's what we must do. Demand of godliness. Amen. Isaiah chapter 42 he said, verse 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. He said, they are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses, therefore pray, and none delivers for a spoil. None says they restore. He said, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hack in and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? How is he struggling? Why is he in holes? Why are robbers robbing him? Is it not the Lord? He against whom you have seen is seen. He said, but they will not walk in his ways. Neither will they obedient to his law. Demands of godliness. So the challenges that we go through. Little foxes. What we call, uh, it doesn't matter. It matters. Every sin matters. Because sin is a sinker. So we have to take care of those foxes. Songs of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15. He said, take us, the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines. In the name of Jesus Christ, your vine will not be spoiled. So demand number one, what must we do? Number one is to crave for this spirit of obedience. Crave for it. The spirit of holiness. We must desire. Craving means it's not beyond, uh, if I get it, I get it. No, craving means I must get it. You crave for it with everything. A strong desire is craving. Crave for the endowment of the spirit of holiness. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Matthew 5, 6. He said, blessed are they who do hunger. That's the craving. Hunger after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be filled. The Holy Spirit will come upon us afresh. In Jesus' precious name. So number one desire it. Crave for the spirit of holiness. So recognize sin for what it is. Don't be dismissive about sin. Don't be non-challenged. Don't say, well, it doesn't matter. No, it matters. Crave for holiness. Desire to be pure, to stand out in every system that you find yourself. That grace is coming upon you. In Jesus' precious name. Number two, a most powerful weapon is the blood of Jesus. We engage and continue to engage the power of the blood of Jesus. The devil has no answer to that. Engage and continue to engage the power of the blood of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. Hebrews 9, 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offered himself without spot to God? Pulled your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. So we, we, we invoke the blood. We plead the blood. So when you see, recognize, you know, things that just seems to refuse to let you go, plead the blood. Invoke the blood of Jesus upon that habit, that, you know, little fox, that sin. And then that blood purges you and purges your conscience from those dead works. The blood will speak for you. The blood is speaking for you right now. In Jesus' precious name. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11 and 12. Zechariah 9, 11. That is our stronghold. Turn ye to your stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today, today, the blood is setting you free. The blood is setting you free in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Number two, what we must do is to stop it. Stop the evil thought. Stop thinking. Stop the thought. And then the act will stop. Stop the evil thought in order to stop the evil act. Everything springs from thought. The devil is powerful, but he has no power over you, your will. Everything is you first process it in your mind. You decide to do it. But if you can stop the thought, no, I will not go there. 
Yes, there are satanic forces, you know, forces that seem to uh, have influence over, but you have a will to say no. Papa Hagen said, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, right? But you can stop that bird from building a nest. You can't be sitting down and the bird is keeping flying in and out. So when the thoughts are coming, you can stop it. Engage the blood of Jesus. Meditating and as, you know, praying in, 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 uh, in the spirit. You stop the thought. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Mark 7, 21. It says, from within. It's from your heart. From within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Every evil thought. Adulteries, fornication, murder, everything that does not glorify God. It comes from the heart of men. Theft. Because you see something, you think about, I like this thing. Covetousness. Oh, but I don't have money for it. Then if you begin, the thought will come, you know, from one string to the next. Why don't you take it? Nobody will know. Don't, nobody is here now. Shabir, you have access. Those are thoughts. Evil thoughts. It springs from the heart. And in the name of Jesus Christ, they are stopped finally. It's a wickedness. Deceit. You can't be lying and not know it. it you know, the one that you are lying to may not know. But you that you are lying, you know there is a lie. So it's impossible to say, well, I didn't know it was a lie. You knew it was a lie. You are just very good at it that we didn't know you are lying. But eventually we will know that you are lying. <laughs> Amen. All from the heart. Lasciviousness. Evil eye. <laughs> Blasphemy. Pride. Foolishness. I say all these evil things come from within and they defile the man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every defilement, the blood of Jesus washes you clean. In Jesus' precious name. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. I don't know about you, but I've come across some men. I, I just sit back and wonder, where, who, who, who is this person? Because what, comes, what they're thinking, the way they speak, is like, how can any man think this way? It's the heart is corrupted. So if your heart is evil, there's nothing that comes out. Hmm? I've had privilege, you know, people will say, you know, you, okay, I want to give this person this something. He say, no. You don't give it to him. He does I say, what? what <laughs> you know, how is that possible for somebody to think? You know what? That heart is, it's not right. And all this we can deal with. With the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Think about what you think about. Think about your thoughts. Take stock of, you know, maybe in a window of time, one hour. In one hour, you think, okay, I'm free. I don't have to do anything. What are you thinking about? That will show you who you are. Amen. Think about good things. Think about tomorrow. Think about, oh, I wish this person, maybe you know somebody or whoever. Good thoughts. If it is evil, check it and plead the blood. You are free. I say you are free. You will no longer be defiled. In the name of Jesus Christ, by his precious blood, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, every evil planting, every evil device, Every strategy from the pit of hell, they are finally over. Amen. Whatever it is that has a hold of you right now that does not please God, an end has come to it. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a clap of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today is our covenant day of favor. And as you know, it is true that everything that God calls a day, that's what it is. He has called today as a day of favor. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as you depart from this mountain, the favor of God follows you. Amen. You have the stamp of favor. Amen. You have the mark of favor. Amen. Everywhere you go, you will not have to struggle for anything. Amen. In the name of Jesus, men and systems will favor you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, favor is real. <laughs> it's very real. Nobody, there's no strength or, or anything but favor of God. And I'm, I'm, I am a, I'm the picture of favor. If you want to say, who is favor? My name is not favor, but I'm favor. By fire, by force, my name is favor. 
Amen. Because I've, I've experienced God's favor, and it is daily. And people may be angry. It's, it doesn't, it's not about people. It's the, when the favor of God is upon you, it will look like you are doing something. No, it's just favor. You just stand out. And I, we're talking about favor not in every area, everywhere. I was in the States like last week, and, you know, we have to do all this test and all that. Uh, you know, I just saw the favor of God everywhere. Not because, you know, at least we don't wear color in winners. It's not because anybody knows I'm a pastor. <laughs> but it's just something. Amen. What is that something? Favor. The grace of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God is coming upon you. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. So what I'm saying is don't let the enemy tell you uh, it's not real. It's because they have connection. Yes, I have connection. You know where my connection is? God. And that's the greatest connection. So whether you like it or not, I have God's connection. So that's why you don't go looking for man's favor. Secure God's favor, everything else is good. Amen. So favor is real. And that favor will speak for you. Now, as with everything we've heard, everything we've been talking about, you know, pathways to godliness, uh, there's what, what gives us access to that favor. Hmm? Keys, there are keys in the kingdom, right? Matthew 16, verse um, 18 and 19. Who do men say I am? You are the Christ. Flesh and blood did not reveal to you by the Spirit of God. He said, now, I give you the keys of the kingdom. There's key to favor. <laughs> and that key shall be delivered to you. So keys to operating in the realms of supernatural favor, number one, is new birth. When you are born again, that brings you into the realm of the favor, the favor of God and with man. So please get hear this and hear it right. Everything about the kingdom of God, the first step is salvation. You must, we cannot overemphasize that or say too much. When you get born again, Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, then you get into the realm of supernatural favor. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. See, the first church, they were praising God and having favor as a result. With all, how many people? All the people. All the people. And the Lord was adding to the church daily, such as should be saved. They were praising God. They were the company of the Lord. And then they didn't have to shop for favor. God was just favoring them with everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, you enjoyed that favor. Amen. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21, he brought them, you know, he was bringing them out. He saw that they were suffering. Exodus 3, 21. So God said something. He said, now, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Remember, the Egyptians were their tax masters. They didn't like them. But they had no choice but to favor them. He said, it shall come to pass that when you go, you will not go empty. As you depart from this service, you will not depart empty. Yeah. God will give you favor before every man, yeah. every system, yeah. everywhere you go. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter what is in their heart. They don't have to be winners or to favor you. They don't have to know God. He said, I will, God, I will give you favor before them. The Egyptians, they didn't know God. But they had no choice. Anything they asked, they gave to Including the things they didn't ask. He said, this one, I think you will like it. Just take. They got paid overnight. They didn't go empty. This land that the Lord has brought you, you will not go empty. Amen. The Lord will give you favor before everyone. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, get set. Get your life right. Give it to Jesus, live for him, and then favor follows you. That shall be your portion in Jesus' precious name. Number two, serve God. Now that you are born again, serve God and the interest of his kingdom. And that grants you access to favor. So it's all about God and about his kingdom. Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have favor. This morning, the Lord is rising to have favor upon you. He said, for the time to favor her, yes, the set time is come. Your set time to be favored is come. Yeah. In the CBSA or CRSA or whatever SA, in your job, in the business, in the neighborhood, everywhere, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the set time for you to be favored is come. And the favor of God will speak for you. In Jesus' precious name. So, serve God. Find, you, you see, all these things we're praying about. Why do you need spear? Is it to be the biggest fish in your village? God won't give you that. It must be, it is about his agenda. I'm not saying you, be, you say, okay, I will become a pastor. Well, if that's what he has called you to be. But whatever it is, it must be what? His kingdom and the advancement of his kingdom. And so when I pray, that's the part of the prayer I pray. I tell God, I say, this one, he's part of this church. He must remain here. It's part, you see, I don't know how you got here, but my Bible says, go ye into the world and preach the good news. And it's not just me to preach in Canada. So I need this family. God, they must stay here. You see, it's, so that you have to locate what? The interest of his kingdom. If it is a selfish interest, well, God will help you to change it quickly. Amen. So it's not about, I, I go show them, say I don't arrive Canada. No, that's, that's pride. Job 36, 11. If they obey and serve it, he said, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. That shall be your testimony. In Jesus' precious name. So we must continue to run after God. And of course, our scripture, Jack Paul's scripture, Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else shall be added to you. You will not struggle. You will not beg. Everything shall be added to you. In Jesus' precious name. And the next one, of course, key. The first key is salvation. And number two, serve God and the interests of his kingdom. Number three, then, is sacrificial giving. How do you serve? The most important resource you have is your time, your gifts, amen, your talents. Serve God with your time. Now that you have PR, then we don't see you again. You say, well, you know, I need to recover. <laughs> That's not how to recover. <laughs> Then you are jumping from Saskatchewan to Buffalo. Find time. It's good to walk. You must walk. But there is a balance. Find time for God to serve him. And of course, so what am I saying? Your most valuable resource is time. And then your financial service. You know, we have all these levels of stewardship. Money, you know. Say ye to this young man. Right? My city shall be spread about through prosperity. That's what Zechariah, is it, 117. So, yeah. God is not blessing you just to be for yourself and I. No, it's for the advancement of his kingdom. And we saw David, this friend of God, the servant of God. He said, now, of my own proper good. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 3 to 12. You can read it and see how you see, this is, he was the king. He can just sit back and command everybody, bring the offering, and then they will bring it. He started with himself. Of my own, so this is my own personal money, of my own proper good. That's what he says. First Chronicles 29, verse 3. He said, the things of gold and of silver I, I have said. Remember, he wanted to build the temple. God said, no, your hands is dirty, it's too bloody. Your son will build it. So he didn't go. He said, now, since I can't build it, I will provide what is needed to be built. Of gold and silver, I have given to the house of my God, of my God, over and above all that are prepared for the holy house. So he made provision for God. Sacrificial giving. So what are we saying again? You know, you, you, we don't announce from the altar and the church need, we don't need anything. Open your eyes and let God speak to you on how to serve him. Amen. So there's all manner of talk, uh, you know, the people that don't have understanding. The church does not need your money. God does not need our money. We need him. It's a privilege to serve God. And where your heart is, your treasure will be. So if you say you love God, if you love Asena, you, your, your money is with Asena. <laughs> Am I lying? Yes. Brother Rotim. <laughs> You will buy jersey. Right? I have my own team. I bought the jersey. It's, it costs money, 60 something dollars. Yeah? Where, whatever you love, you invest there. And we won yesterday, so by the way. <laughs> Amen. 
So sacrificial giving. So look for opportunities. I, I don't have to, I have said it everywhere I've been, right? This is just my own personal, as David said, right? Every church I've pastor, there's something I make sure I do. So I can look at Virginia and I see something I bought. I don't have to tell anybody I did this. No, it's between you and God. And there are some things I look here. You don't have to look around. I know what, <laughs> by privilege, by grace. Amen. That is what we're talking about. If you love this God, then you will serve him with everything that you have. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The favor of God has come upon you. And this favor we're co- talking about, it covers all areas of life, everywhere. Your career and business, because you want to be the biggest one. It's right. divine favor. That's all you need. When you are favored, you don't have to, you don't have to struggle. People will be, they say they will gnash with their teeth. They will see it and gnash with their teeth. Psalm 1, 1, 2, verse 1, 2, 3, and while well, the whole psalm. Who is he talking about? The just. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is lifting you up. So this favor covers our businesses and career. Amen. That's Psalm 44, verse 1 to 3. In that verse 3, they got not the land by the strength of their own. Your hand, O Lord, your arm, and the countenance of your eyes. Psalm 44, verse 3. How? Because you have favor to them. And we are very favored. And that's why we, as a ministry, were able to say, Deuteronomy 20, I mean, Deuteronomy 2, verse 36. There's no land that is difficult for us. We just saw that clip, uh, God servant, the national pastor. You need to see it. There's no pillar inside. <laughs> That's why you saw they had to do some uh, ingenuity. The best ever, at least in North and South America. You see more pictures. Amen. People, churches are struggling. I was somewhere with one of our elders this week to, some, to do some church business. He said, how are you guys doing? You know, this man was talking. I said, tell the pastor to come. Come to Winner and we'll show him how we're doing. The man was, he said, they left basement, sir, right? To get to a facility. He's now back to the basement. He said, the guy was crying. And he, the man, this is, the man was telling that pastor, he said, but I know a church. So it's not true that churches are struggling. He said, I know a church, they are down the street. <laughs> I said, tell him to come. So we show him the key of this financial prosperity. In the, we had our wonderful sister. In the midst of the pandemic, it was just advancing. And the same thing, not just church, I mean all of us individually. That has been our testimony. To God be all the glory. How is that? The favor of God. The favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going forward. Amen. You have come to this service. The Lord has brought you right here, whether you're in Canada, America, Europe, or Africa, wherever you are, the Lord has established you there. And by his arm, the countenance of his eyes, you are favored. Whatever it is that you engage in, the favor of God come upon it. In your business and career, change of levels is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, fruitfulness, you are multiplying. You dominate the land. You see, that's what happened with Israel. The land was full with them. Everywhere you turn, they are winners. You go to uh, Okvi, winners. You go to Saskatchewan. It's, what happened across Canada is everywhere. We have come to take over yes. by the favor of God. Yes. By the favor of God. Yes. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God speak for you yes. and your seed after you. Yes. In everything that you do, yes. you don't have to go. You, you see, don't look at what people tell you. He said, you can only prosper in Canada if you do this. It's a lie. Because he said, whatsoever you do, anything you do, you prosper. Anything, daycare, you do, prosperity. Any business, any career, you just sit down and say, God, which one I like? Oh. As soon as you pick it, the breath of the Holy Spirit, the hand of God come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God speaks for you. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody's blessed. Give that all a clap of it. Now, as we have heard, so we can get and begin to bask in this favor, the key is salvation. You are in this service right here in the sanctuary. Will you please stand up? You are not born again. You have never given your life to Jesus. Will you now just stand up? Or you are online 
right there under the sound of my voice. You know that you know. Remember what we said. The first step is confession. And then it will empower you to do it no more. Anyone, anyone in this service, you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate it, you want to give it back, you took it back, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, will you stand up now, anywhere in this sanctuary? You are not born again or you want to rededicate your life and if you are online and you are standing up, I can't see you but Jesus sees you. Will you say this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you Lord for this great grace I have to come before you. Jesus, I confess my sin this morning. Forgive me. Wash me clean by your blood. I know you died for me. On the third day you rose again that I may have life. Come into my life this day. And I publicly affirm and confess you as Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you for the blood for washing me clean. Now I'm born again. I'm redeemed in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Congratulations if you say that prayer. Give the Lord a clap offering. Now, rise on your feet for all of us. It's our covenant day of favor. We will just say one short prayer because favor has to be entreated. And he's our father. His good pleasure is to give to us anything we ask. You know, Sarah was barren until her husband, Isaac, entreated the Lord for her. And then she got favor and conceived. Now, lift up your voice and entreat the favor of God. I don't know what it is. Over your business, over your career, over your family, your health situation, your uh, immigration situation, your financial situation, any situation. Oh, Lord God, they didn't get the land by the strength of their arm. The favor, the favor of God announced them. Oh, your countenance. Let your countenance come upon this church. Father, this morning I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your countenance, your hand, your arm. Let it come upon us as a church family, as individuals, in our businesses, in our careers, in the land. Cause us, O oh Lord, to be favored. We receive divine favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray concerning anyone, everyone that is yet to be established in the land, such as they needed. You said it and you did it for Israel. Exodus 3.21, you gave these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Lord, I ask for this same favor. For this wonderful men and women you have given to me to pastor. Lord, favor. Cause them to be favored. Give them favor in the sight of the government. In the sight of the people of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. In everything. In everywhere. Oh Lord God, their favor. The favor in schools. In neighborhoods. In the name of Jesus. On the streets. In the church. Everywhere. Lord, cause us to be favored. I entreat the favor of God. For difficult immigration cases, for difficult medical cases, for difficult financial cases. Lord, we desire to buy houses. Lord, we receive favor. To own good cars, we receive favor. To be married, to be settled, favor in the name of Jesus. For our children in schools, everywhere we go, we are the children of the Lord. The winner's family, in the name of Jesus Christ, we possess Canada by the favor of God. No city, no province is too big for us to occupy. Oh Lord God, you did it in Canaan land, you did it in Maryland. Now do it in Canada in the name of Jesus Christ from Toronto to Calgary to Edmonton to uh, Nunavut, everywhere to the Atlantic, everywhere across this land. The favor of God, the favor of God for every member of this church as they go seeking for employment they are favored as they go to buy properties. They are favored in the name of Jesus Christ as they go seeking school for their children, for themselves. Favor, favor, favor for fellowship, favor for employment, favor in the name of Jesus. We possess the land, the favor of God. According to your word, the first church increased as they praise you and they receive favor. You gave them favor before all the people. All the people of the land favor them. Everywhere, everywhere, everyone, everywhere we appear, we will be favored. In financial transactions, in school transactions, immigration transactions, any government transaction. Favor, favor for every member of this church. This is our covenant day of favor, and we receive favor to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' 
precious name we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive now the mark of favor. Everywhere you go, you or anyone connected to you, right here in Canada or the nations of the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are favored. Protocols, rules will be broken for your sake. Even if you are wrong, the mercy of God will speak for you. The blood of Jesus speak for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, across zones, across time zones, across systems, anywhere, everywhere you show up, whether physically, your face, or your name, or anything that represents you, the favor of God come upon you. You are highly favored. And such as you need, such as you require, such as you want, you just like it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God delivers it to you. And I speak to you now for everyone. Apartments are good. There's nothing wrong with it. But you are in Canada. You are here. Our desire is for you to own. Now, in the name of Jesus, whatever is leased or rented, the Lord is moving you to your ownership. You are owning that which you need. That which you have, you own it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the breath of the Holy Spirit come upon you. Come upon the work of your hands. You are fruitful. You multiply. In the name of Jesus Christ, this time next week we return rejoicing. I declare you are blessed and you are blessed. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody is blessed. Give the Lord a clap offering. And please have your seat. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord again. Great things he has done. Even this morning, the mark of favor has come upon us. Now, before we shut down, there's some very special people right here in the service. If today is your first time here at Winners Chapel, Toronto, we'd love for you to please rise up. We want to recognize you. We want to welcome you properly. Now, please rise up. You bring your bag and your Bibles and your children, everything you came to church, and please come. Come to the altar. Stand in front of the altar facing me. Today is your first day here. Please come. Please come. Please come. It is God that brought you. Please come. We are glad you came. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Oh, is somebody clapping? Jesus is doing great things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this is Winners Chapel International. We're part of the Winners family right here in Toronto, Canada. And we're represented everywhere in case you are just coming through in a visit. Uh, we're everywhere. And, but this is your base. We would love for you to make this church your uh, home church. We're glad you came here today. Jesus brought you. And you have come to the company of the blessed. Lot went with Abraham and he was blessed after the same order. In the name of Jesus Christ, every virtue that speaks in this family find full expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has brought you blesses you. On this covenant day of favor, the favor of God follows you home. And everywhere hence, everywhere you go, the favor of God announces you in Jesus' precious name. We're glad you came. And there's a package you've just been given. And in there you'll find uh, there's a slip. We call it the first time worshiper sleep. Please fill it out. And then you'll be submitting it to our covenant friends. And in the meantime, they will, you go through this grace door. And they'll be able to attend with, to you very shortly. It's, it's not going to take your time. Uh, uh, please fill that form out. And that enables us to follow up. We'll be calling you in the fourth, uh, course of the week. You, just your name, phone numbers, and email. Uh, so will be somebody or a group of people will call you sometime this week to follow up with you. And our prayer is that next week you will also come back and consistently because the Lord that brought you here sustained you here. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have come to Zion. Every virtue in Zion speaks in your life. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you and thank you for coming. If you will, just go through this door. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please have your seat. Now, for the rest of us, quickly, 
just emphasis again, next Sunday is the first Sunday of the month of October. Is a special miracle service. Hallelujah. So please come with expectation. Don't just never come to any service without an expectation. But there's a specific need, perhaps you have the hand of God for a special miracle. You know, God is still doing special miracles. Amen. By the hand of Paul, Acts 19, verse 11 and 12, handkerchiefs were taken, and God did special miracle. God will do special miracle for us next Sunday. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And first day of every month is our covenant day of trumpet. So this month, October, I think it's um, Friday. In that covenant of prayer, there will be a service. So please come expectant. But in the meantime, we still have one midweek service, 29th. And we're waiting on the Lord on Wednesday. If you cannot come in the sanctuary, make sure you connect on all of our platform. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. And of course, our prayer hours continue uh, every day, 6 a.m. If you can, please always come to the sanctuary for those of us that are not too far away. But if you are too far away, hour drive or whatever, or by reason of your job, you can connect online. Also, we have a platform. It's wcito.ca slash chop, chop, or covenant of prayer. That will bring you into that platform. Every day, we transmit that prayer. The Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. And, and then, please, for all of our parents, children's church, uh, resumes next Sunday. Are you excited? Uh, for a very long time, uh, the pandemic and the shutdown, but God has given us facility to start. Uh, it will still be hybrid, so a lot of us will be able to also stay at home and connect for some of our children. Um, there are, for all the classrooms, is there. One to four uh, is on the screen, five to eight, nine to 12, and the teenagers also. But for some of us that come, uh, and please understand, the entrance to the children's church is the uh, door facing the street, the mayor side. Um, so as you come early or whenever you come, because we have to register every child. The registration will be up front and all of that. So when you come, if you are bringing your child, make sure they go uh, through the front entrance. The Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. Have you been blessed this morning? <laughs> Hallelujah. Now again, just to reiterate, for everyone that can um, visit on the 24th. So you begin to make your plans. October 24th is going to be huge. It's going to be wonderful. I will be there. All of our pastors will be there. And I, I, don't, I can't tell you, I don't know who of our fathers will be there, but it's a huge matter. God has blessed us in this great commission. The headquarter church uh, in Maryland is a campus. Hmm? So God that did Maryland, United States, Canada is the next one. In the name of Jesus Christ. So if you can, begin to plan, um, because the hotels around the church fill up really quick. So you, you begin to make your plans for, for your hotel and all of that. October 24, two services, 9 and 11.30, as you saw on the screen, uh, God's servant uh, unveiling it. And you can go online to see the other pictures also. The Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. Now, rise on your feet. One more time, let's return all the glory to him and thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you for great grace we have received today, for your word, for favor, favor, favor everywhere. We are favored everywhere. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Now as you go, go in peace. Return testifying. We have received a mark of favor in your businesses, in your career. Every area of life, finances, health, the favor of God speak for you. Amen. You will not have to push or pull. Amen. You will be favored. Amen. On your job, you are favored. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. in every area of life, the favor of God speak for you. Amen. For you and your seed after you. Amen. He said, you will not hear the sound of rain, but the valley will be filled. In the name of Jesus Christ, every valley area of your life, they are filled. Amen. And you will return testifying in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Together now, shall we share the goodness of the Lord? Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Then expect turnaround to become your new identity from henceforth.
Amen and amen. God bless you. We'll see you at the prayer hour. Have a great, wonderful week. God bless you.
Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Covenant day of favor this morning. Can you stand on your feet and begin to appreciate the Lord? The psalmist said, I'm glad when they said, let us go to his presence. Let us thank him for the privilege to be in his presence this morning. He's worthy to be praised. Let us appreciate him. Today is the last Sunday of the month of September. Oh God, let us celebrate him for his favor, for his mighty hand over us. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised. Blessed be to your holy name. Appreciate him for the first service, for the life transforming world for not living himself without a weakness for the wonderful testimonies lift up your voice this morning and celebrate him because when we thank him for his finger he will show forth his hand if you are expecting his full hand in this second service so thank him for this first service father you are worthy lord to be praised for the life transforming world for not living yourself without a weakness father we said thank you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all adoration Blessed and blessed be to your holy name. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised. Let's commit this service into his able hands this morning and say, Lord, come and take charge of this morning's service. Let your will alone be done. Take charge, O oh God, of this morning's service, O oh Lord, and let your will be done, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your presence make the difference. Right from this opening prayers to the benediction, your presence, O oh Lord, will make the difference in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory, Lord. Honor us, O oh God, with your presence this morning. Let us lift up our voice and ask him, O oh Lord, let this service answer to his name. Today is, O oh Lord, known to be our covenant day of favor. Father, let today answer to his name in my life. Let this service answer to his name in my life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, O oh God, attendee, both online and in the auditorium, we return, O oh God, with on you your favor with strange favor lord they are the word in the mighty name of jesus father lord everyone will return from this service of god with unusual favor from today the unusual door we begin to open for everyone worshiper both online and on this service in the mighty name of jesus do it oh god and take all the glory we give you all the glory lord let's begin to appreciate him oh god because he have had us thank you jesus because you have had us this morning for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed for in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed I know most of us have a testimony the testimony officials are waiting for us to share our testimony so I will be given the opportunity to share it with the saints in the course of the service praise the Lord can we put our hands together for Jesus as we welcome the praise team
today. Put your hands together for him. Glory to God. Magnificent, magnificent is your name. Omnipotent, omniscient, I do love Jesus. Magnificent is your name. Magnificent, magnificent is your name.
Supernatural turn around. Somebody glad to be in God's presence on this last Sunday of the month. Make a joyful noise to this good God. Put your hands together for Him. Hallelujah. You may please be gloriously seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. On behalf of Jesus Christ and God's servant, our Father in the house, I welcome you to this covenant day of favor service. In this second service, God will change your level dramatically. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let's welcome ourselves to, with the call to worship Psalm 67. We'll be reading responsively 1 to verse 7. Psalm 
chapter 67, verse 1. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Somebody say amen. Verse 2 now. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 4. Verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6 now. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Verse 7. Let's read with power now. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. You are going home with fearful blessings today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's presence one more time. Encounters announcement Sunday, September 26, 2021. Welcome, welcome to this wonderful day of favor service. We are so glad you're here today. Please carefully note the following Prophetic focus Godliness is profitable unto all things. 1 Timothy 4 8. Covenant hour of prayer is every weekday at 6 a.m. and Saturday at 9 a.m. Take advantage of this platform as an avenue for your spiritual enhancement and be blessed. Midweek Communion Service The Midweek Communion Service comes up on Wednesday, September 29, 2021, streamed live on our website www.winnerschapeltoronto.org and all our social media platforms. As our custom is, we shall be waiting on the Lord in prayer and fasting and break the fast with our Holy Communion. Time is 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Winner Satellite Fellowship Considering government guidelines regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, our WSF meetings continues to hold at our various fellowships online platforms. The next meeting takes place on Saturday at 5 p.m. In-person service for Children Church. Please know that the Children Church will resume in-person service on Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. Please note the following. Online streaming is still ongoing and you can connect using the Google Meet link for the respective classes. Drop-off Pickup and registration is through the office entrance facing Mayor Side Drive. Registration is mandatory as safety guidelines and precautions will be observed during the service. Time is 9 a.m. for first service and 11.30 a.m. for second service. Next Sunday at WCI Toronto. Next Sunday, October 3rd, 2021 is our prophetic entrance service to the month of october 2021 come along expecting to be visited in this service as you connect with your family members friends and other loved ones on ground and to our live streaming on our website youtube facebook and instagram service begin at 9 a.m for first service and 11.30 a.m. for second service. Electronic giving. Be reminded that you can give your tithe offerings and other kingdoms advancement seats securely through the following channels. On the church website, www.wcito.ca slash give. Text to give via pushpay which allows you to give from your cell phone by simply texting the word 
WCITO to 77977 and follow the instructions. Interact online transfer through the church email smctoronto at winnerschapelcanada.org. Jesus is Lord. Our God may work in mysterious ways, but He has never failed. As you listen to the following documented testimony, you shall be greatly blessed. Doors of Favor, the Kingdom Advancement Engagement As a result of an incident that happened in my office some times ago, I was suspended being the branch head. This was to last for some weeks. However, weeks became months and months became a year without any source of income. All through this period, 13 months, God strengthened me with His presence. I was actively involved in all the outreaches and gave my all in seeking the advancement of His kingdom. After having done all willingly, a letter of termination of appointment was given to me in February 2016, at a time I was expecting my first quantum leap. I encouraged myself in the Lord and refused to be slack in engaging in kingdom advancement prayers and reaching out to souls. All through this period, I never lost a thing nor have reasons to beg or borrow. Suddenly, as I kept engaging in kingdom advancement endeavors, the doors of favor was opened. God gave me another job that is better than the one I lost with international access for my family. The two sources of income from these businesses are more than what I was earning before. To God be the glory for He has done great and mighty things in my life. The testifier is Oladeji Olamri Waju. As you have listened to this testimony, God will surprise you with your own testimony this week. In Jesus' name, Amen. It's your glory. My name is Charles Daniels. I'm the owner and CEO of Churches by Daniels. At Churches by Daniels, we build churches across the United States. And we've been so honored to team up with Winter's Chapel here in Maryland to build the church for them here. We built churches for them in, in Houston. I'm doing one there. So we really love the relationship. We want to continue on with this great relationship. Um, some of the churches you would be familiar with that we've done is we built Billy Joe Darty's church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, we built Kenneth Hagin's church, uh, 5,000 seat, quarter of a million square feet. This facility, some of the challenges was it. We bought an existing building and in this existing building, we had a lot of columns. So it made the seating really hard. Well, we went on top of the building and we put beams across the roof of the building to carry all the weight so we could take the columns out of the building making it a really expansive auditorium like you see here today. Beautiful auditorium. Hello, I bring you greetings again right from our new home, Winners Chapel International, Maryland. And if you look around, you can tell I'm right in the main auditorium. This wonderful auditorium will be seating 2,000 people in each of the services on the 24th of October, 2021. But the question is, how did we get here? Luke chapter 14 and verse 28. He that wants to build a tower must sit down first and count the cost to see if he has what it takes to complete his building. I'd like you to know you are God's building. And God has great plans for your life, but his plans for your life will never find fulfillment without you sitting down to plan. We are here today celebrating the reality of October 24th, 
2021 because we sat down to plan. God has been gracious to us. He has been kind to us. There is progress on every side around this project. I'd like you therefore to begin to plan, uh, not just for the 24th of October, 2021, but make planning part of your life. On October 24, 2021, we'll be having two powerful services here, one at 9 a.m. and the other at 11.30 a.m. I'd like you to prepare your entire household. Not only is the glory of God right here in the main auditorium, the glory of God is on these premises. It is everywhere around us. The children's facility will also be opened with amazing classes, and um, I want you to prepare because your life is work in progress, but ensure that you're taking time to plan each stage of your life. We thank God for what he has done. We thank God for what he is doing. And we thank him much more for what lies ahead. October 24th remains a reality. God bless you. Better. This is what the Lord has done and is marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. We have some members who are here to give their own testimony in person. Please, if you hear your name, kindly come forward to share your testimony with God's people. And God bless you as you do. The first is Brother Ajimba. Please, the more you clap, the faster they come. Deacon Jude. Deacon Charles Azi. Mr. and Mrs. Prince with Gobadia. Mr. and Mrs. Prince with Gobadia. Dikin Chasazi, Dikin Jude, and Brother Yimba. Your name and what the Lord have done in one minute. Praise the Lord. I came to testify to the glory of God to strengthen members of this family and other people yet to join us. If you're in a society or a country, my name is Angiba Lantipodicum. If you're in a society where you don't know anybody, there is no, no man, no woman, you need God the most. Last week, Sunday, I came to church. I was scanning around for our senior pastor because I needed the word to come and change all the situations I was believing God for. Then when I came, I was mistaken. I didn't see him. I started the praise and worship. I said my testimony is going to start with the praise and worship. So when the word came, I took the man of God, like I'm seeing Pastor Tunde, and I received every word of God. If you don't listen to him in that Sunday, you will not pick anything. But I was so very, very attentive for those of us that were in church. I was very attentive to pick every little word he was saying, and I worked with it. So I, uh, on, Mon um, on the 10th of September, my husband bought a car for me on the 31st of August. On the 10th of September, somebody hit me and ran away. And I reported everything, did everything I could do. The police said they were going to investigate. After 10 days, the man was caught. And he's going to pay for all the damages. On Monday, I saw a message from um, Canada Revenue um, Agency. And I told, I told my husband, they, they sent a message to him. He said, have you checked your account? I said, I have not checked. He said, check your account. They've paid your money. All my child benefits were paid. All my immigration status were rectified. Everything that has to do with immigration, I'm okay with that. Then I also applied for, you know, to do further degrees. I have a PhD back home, but when I came, I liked nothing. So I wanted to do nothing. Then I said, by WAEC, my WAEC result is too old. I should write WAEC again after 30 years. I wrote the WAEC. I passed. And they put me on a wait list. After waiting for like a month or two, they said they can't take me, that the seat was full. And um, just, they said, if I want, I can apply again. I applied. Let's get straight to the point. I applied again in, on the 21st of this month. Two days later, they gave me the admission. So I've come to return all the glory to God of this commission that is God in this place. Stay with him and you'll change your situation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's clap some more for Jesus for this testimony. Your name, I want the Lord have done in one minute. Hallelujah. My name is Jude Ivey Ome. I'm standing on this exalted altar to give glory to God. For me and my family, it's been from glory to glory, favor to favor. And during the pandemic, we were blessed with our own property of our own. And to crown it all, this September 13th, I turned 50 years. I want to give God all the glory. And my son also had his birthday on the 20th, so it's a combo. I give all the glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Let's give God more thanks. Hallelujah. Your name and what the Lord have done in one minute. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Sir Charles Azi. I just came to return all the glory to God for, for his first finance over my life and the life of my family. Um, I left Nigeria like 23 years ago from one nation to the other, from one country, trying to settle down. And, um, about 10 years ago, I found myself in the U.S., and I was there for a couple of um, years before I decided to come to Canada. Our coming to Canada was never, we never prepared for it. It's just like the way Abraham told the, what, the family, let's go. That's how we left. I just woke up one morning and I said to my wife, you know what, we'll have to leave to Canada. I said, why? I said, let's go. He said, why? I said, let's go. And uh, we prepared that three days. We found ourselves in Canada. When we got here, and we started hearing stories, oh, he didn't prepare, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. Everything we thought we did was like, when we gave it to our lawyer, lawyer said, this is rubbish. What do, you, what do you think we're going to do with this? This is not Nigeria. That this is, we are not going anywhere. I was like, oh God, what are we going to do? My wife said, just hold on to God and I'll keep praying about it. And I was so desperate because each time I talked to some of my friends, they were telling me, like, Charles, this is Canada. When you, when you are in the U.S., when you, um, if you don't have your way in the U.S., you come to Canada. But if you, if you fail in Canada, you're going back to Nigeria. So I don't want to go back to Nigeria with my kid and all that, you know. So I was so desperate to get this uh, paper here. So I was doing church, I was praying in the church side and I was doing my own side too, you know. Trying to get it, if you don't walk in this side, it's going to walk in the other side. But <laughs> What a lot of done. Yeah, but, yeah, but most of the time pastor comes here to preach. He said like, you, people, you stop sending money to Nigeria for people to pray for you. I say, pastor, you don't know what I'm going through, I'm sending. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was sending money to Nigeria, sending, sending, until like about a month ago, you know, they called me that this pastor is the highest in Nigeria, so okay, that's fine. I called the guy and uh, we talked and they said that I should send him the address of the immigration. I said, what are you going to do with the address of the immigration? When he said, I said, the thing that's, like, that got angry in my spirit that I'm not going to do anything again. And I talked to pastor, pastor said, speed. Each time I eat, I have an opportunity to meet pastor. We just, what, only somebody normally tell me, say, child, speed, divine speed. Everything that concerning you, God will perfect it with speed. Every time I have an opportunity to meet him, he will tell me, say, speed, speed. And then just to cram it, what I was discussing with pastor the other day, I supposed to send a huge amount of money to a pastor like on Monday, which I decided not to send. And on Friday, we are giving our PR here in Canada. Hallelujah. I just return all the glory to God for his faithfulness because all the glory I just strive to him. No, nobody, take the, uh, nobody take the glory than God. Hallelujah. Let's clap some more. Let's clap some more. I don't know what you are going through. Like the pastor has said, divine speed is your portion in Jesus' name. Please, uh, uh, Deacon Chidioke Osuji, please come forward to share your testimony. Okay. Your name, I want the Lord have done in one minute. Okay. Um, praise the Lord. My husband told me to talk. Um, we are Mr. and Mrs. Prince. We go by there. <laughs> um, I'm speechless. Yes. We have come to return the glory to this holy wise God, the God of times and season, that says in his time, it makes everything perfect. Um, I came into this country May, 20, uh, May 5th, 2015 precisely, without a direction, without knowing anyone. But my dad told me one word, I leave you in God's hands, it will guide you. I came in, became, um, God, um, it's a privilege, I became a secretary of the choir. I wanted to, I was reluctant, but some, a mama called me and said, when she walked for God, her life turned around. And within that two years, is it the work? Is it finances? My marital settlement, everything turned around. God did not walk with distance. He brought my husband all the way from Halifax to meet me here. I didn't have to go anywhere. We have come here to use this opportunity to thank every member of this church for your financial support. Wow, my colleagues at work were like, you have a wonderful church members, a family, because they saw the show of love. Indeed, may God bless you and grant you all your heart desires. We also want to thank the pastor and his wife. They were indeed a dad and mommy to us. Their prayers and every one of, everyone that have been supportive, may God meet you at the point of your need. Thank you. Thank you, 
Pastor Ray, thank you, Dinkins and Dinkins. We really appreciate your support. May God bless you all. Clap some more together for Jesus. Your own marital destiny shall be settled in Jesus' name. Amen. The King of Suji. Your name and what the Lord have done in one minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Chijo Kosuji. I've come to return all the glory back to God for what he has done. I arrived there and uh, my family and I, we came to Canada in 2019. Uh, of course, where, I, was come, where I'm, I came from, I'm a winner. So I've had a lot of testimony here. You know, I was listening to a man one day. He was testifying of when he got to hearing. He didn't know anything. So the members, they were asking him, tell us about this thing. He said, I don't know. I don't know. I had also a sister. You know, every week when I came, I had a lot of testimonies. I even forgot my own hearing date because of the testimonies that I've had. I said, God, you know what? You've done a lot, so I don't need to worry. I, I even encourage people, you know, I've met people on the street who are struggling with their permit. I say, you know what? You are hearing too much noises outside. Come to winners when you hear testimonies. You forget about your own testimony. So it was two Thursdays ago, I was home. We had the hearing. You know, the lawyer called me. You know, before the hearing, five minutes, he said, I know the woman. They sent this woman to Nigerians. Nigerians. You know, she, he wanted to put fear in me. I said, never. So I was calm. The hearing started. The woman was just friendly. It was a conversation. It wasn't even a, a hearing. He said, when were you born? What's the date of birth? What's this? What's this? You know, the woman was so... The lawyer had to cut the thing short and say, can we take five minutes break? He called me again. You need to speak. You need to... I said, leave it like that, please. So we connected back online. So the woman, you know, she did everything and said, congratulations. Just send me this. Day. We send you everything. Thank you. Hallelujah for all God have done. For all God have done. Jam together for Jesus. For this great and wonderful testimony. You are next to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's make it better for the Lord for those testimonies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Another testimony is about to be birthed after this prayer this morning. We're going to be standing up very soon and we're going to be praying in, the, in this intercession. One will be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed. Somebody say amen. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Please, wherever you are this afternoon, join me as you rise to your feet, and as we begin to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed. You are praying for yourself indirectly. Lift up your voice to God this early afternoon. Begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay in the release of noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we ask of you, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask of you, hold up. Your word says we shall decree it in and it shall come to be. Father, we have come to you this early afternoon to pray. Oh Lord, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper. Let it be destroyed. There shall be no delay. In the name of Jesus, somebody is praying this hour. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask of you no more delay. It shall be speed all over. 
speed all over. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatsoever representing false delay, the release of noiseless breakthrough order, of testimonies, of every worshiper, we command it this hour that they are all destroyed. Lift up your voice. Your testimony must come forth right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, somebody's praying. Lift up your voice to God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask of you, even this hour, let every force delay the release of the noiseless breakthrough order of testimonies of every worshiper be destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can power your prayer in the Holy Ghost. Even this afternoon, confuse the devil. Power your prayer in the Holy Ghost. Me papa kasanda raba elia la lule elia la gushinderia me barele bo zazu zeke 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 rebo bo shandaria. Let's begin to appreciate him. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Blessed be to your holy name, O Lord. Oh Lord, we say thank you. So you alone be all the praise. This prayer is answered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord Almighty, and you may pray. Be seated. Praise the Lord. The Bible is speaking in the book of Psalm 103, verse 1. Say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. It's time for Thanksgiving and children dedication service. This is our God has been working with us and confirming his word with sons following. We have seen diverse testimonies, testimonies of breakthroughs, healings, deliverances. We have seen what that it looked hard. God make it possible. God has been so wonderful in our midst. So this month, if this month is your birthday, your marriage anniversary celebration, you are dedicating a new born baby, a new house, a new job, a new car. This hour, I want us to be on our feet. And let everyone that you have something to thank God with begin to confront, begin to confront, begin to confront. If you have a baby to dedicate, please confront. You are dedicating a new house, a newborn baby, your marriage anniversary, is your birthday month. Please come forth to receive a pastoral blessing as we welcome the choir to lead us in a hearty.
wonderful baby to dedicate. He said, bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all of his benefit. Indeed, we're here this morning not to forget the benefit of God. God has been so good. God has been so wonderful. God has been working with us and confirming his word with his sons following. All through the month of September, we have seen diverse breakthroughs. We have seen healing deliverances. We have seen new houses. God giving houses. Lord Jesus, we have seen again. Welcome to Canada. Permanent resident. All through the month. Father, we give you praise, O Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, God Almighty. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. For those dedicating a newborn baby. Wherever you are, you are online. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. For the marriage anniversary. We are married. We see many more years. For those celebrating their birthday, your birthday is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will live and see many more years to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, for God, those thanking God for their immigration processes. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Almighty, because we know through them many more immigration processes will be successful. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give you praise, O oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, God Almighty. Whatever that we are thanking God for this afternoon is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are thanking God for a new car. Is blessed in the name of Jesus. We are thanking God for a new house. Is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. We are thanking God for your marriage anniversary. Is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise, O oh Lord. Take all that glory. Take all the honor. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. For those thank God for marriage anniversary, O so Lord, we use that point of contact to others for God to release their own marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you glory, Lord. For those thanking God for their immigration success, we use as a point of contact for the release of others in the name of Jesus Christ. For those thanking God for their houses, we use as a point of contact for the release of other houses in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Take on the honor, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. And again, if you have your thanksgiving seed, worthy to God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Father, we give you all the praise. Take all the honor. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen and amen. Put our hands together for Jesus as we invite the choir and as we dance back to our seat. My God is a good God, yes he is. My God is a good God, yes he is. He lifts me up, he lifts me up. He lifts me up, he lifts me up. He turns me around, he turns me around. He sets my feet, he sets my feet. sit in God's presence in this covenant day of favor is offering time
please let's package our offering neatly our tithe and every financial obligation we have towards god in this second service please let's know that we can give securely in the church website www.wcito.ca slash give and also we can also text to give via push pay simply by texting the word wcitu to seven seven nine seven seven then follow the instructions praise god scripture speaking in deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 he said remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to get word that he may establish their covenant which is one unto thy father even as it is this day praise god can we rise up on our feet this afternoon as we worship the lord whatever it is you have brought to worship the lord that substance in your hand begin to say something nice to the lord father thank you for this awesome privilege to honor you again and again upon this mountain thank you for taking pleasure in my prosperity thank you for empowering my financial life into next level thank you holy ghost in jesus christ's precious name with our seed in our hand lifted above our head for everyone honoring you today oh god cause them to return again with another financial testimony in the name of jesus christ let me seated as we cast our seat cheerfully and the choir ministers Sacrifice Jesus. I have more than a song. 